Well, there we have it. The end of the first season of Extreme E. And for X44, Lewis Hamilton's team, driven by Sebastian Loeb and Christina Gutierrez, it was a win. First win of the season in the final race. However, it wasn't enough for them to win the title, even though they got the maximum point all that they could. Because with fourth place in the final, RXR, Rosberg Extreme Racing, were able to take the title, piloted by Johan Christofferson and Molly Taylor. And uh, it's been a brilliant way to end this season. The season has been all over the show, really. I mean, I, I haven't looked at the rest of the team standings, but it looks like uh, Kevin Hansen might have gotten one up on Timmy in the Battle of the Brothers. But I actually didn't see who was third between JBXE and Andretti in the end. But it was, well, one that went all the way down to the wire. It was the really the final lap uh, after the switch, where Carlos Sainz didn't get out of the switch zone as quickly as he could have, potentially, and wasn't able to close up to Johan Christofferson. I don't know what happened to RX after the start of that final, but it looked like it was advantage X44 for the whole weekend. And to be honest, it's looked like that most of the season. They've just had issues here or there. I mean, Senegal, for example, where they broke down on the same corner in the final as... Uh, JBXC leaving it to be a two-car final. <laughs> well, two-car final, yeah, between uh, Veloci and RXR, wasn't it, in Senegal? In Dakar. But I'll tell you what, I've been enjoying watching it. And I think the format that they've got now is one that works. So when it comes to next season, this could be a hell of a lot of fun. But let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below, and especially if you haven't been watching it or haven't been following along, because I think this is a lot of fun. I, I've certainly enjoyed it. So, thank you so much for watching, thank you so much for joining, and I hope to see you again soon. Bye for now.